Good afternoon, everyone. It's really a pleasure to have all of you over here, especially the distinguished guests over here. We are going to talk about something which is very, very sensitive, very emotional, and extremely social as well. There is a saying that beauty lies in the eyes of the old. And there is another saying that beauty is skin. I think both these are quite correlated. And we today understand the sensitivities around it. That whether it is actually a skin disorder or more importantly, the perception disorder that the normal public or the normal perception in the society. It's my pleasure to have today's distinguished guests like Dr. Vijay Jawar, President IADVL, Dr. Malik Gupta, Chairperson, Dr. Devendra Prasad from PJ Chandigarh. We just got the brief note from Dr. Vijay Jawar, <coughs> Dr. Devendra about the kind of work that Dr. Devendra Prasad is doing it. Dr. S.K. Punchi, the senior most dermatologist present over here, Dr. R.G. Tulaskar, and also a distinguished person from Indian Post, Mr. Sanjay Khan. My colleagues <coughs> from India, fraternity colleagues and friends. Before we come or we talk about more about the vitiligo and the skin disorders, let me talk to you a little in brief what Glenmark is, what Glenmark is doing and how the organization is. Glenmark as an organization is basically into pharmaceuticals. It's a global organization with operations in over 80 countries with three different arms. Largely into the formulation business, into branded generics, into generics, and some of the innovation products in the field of dermatology, respiratory, oncology, and cardiology. We also have another arm as which is completely into innovation therapies. 100% subsidiary of Denmark, uh, which is called Elekanas, which is based out of US, which is into complete biotech innovation, working on the treatment options, new treatment options for oncology. And I'm sure in some months or years, we'll be able to bring novel molecules for the treatment of oncology for the world at large. Our third arm is Glenmark Life Science, which is completely to active pharmaceutical ingredient. We call it as API, manufacturing and marketing of these API products. Uh, from India and outside India. So that is called as Glenmark Life Science. As far as India is concerned, we are uh, into formulation business, branded generic business, and three or four therapy areas which where we are highly focused upon, and we are into dermatology, the foundation therapy as far as the Glenmark, yeah, Glenmark pharmaceutical is concerned. We are number two in that. In Indian market, respiratory is another where we are number two in the Indian market, and then cardiology, where we are number fifth in India market. As far as dermatology is concerned, as I mentioned that this has been the founding uh, therapy area for where Glenmark came into existence with the launch of Candid Cream in 1979. And subsequently then we launched various other products and notably our Candid, Candid B, Moment, Tecros, Aprizor, Episoft into the areas of antifungal, uh, steroid, anti-acne, moisturizers, etc. and even the modern antifungal treatments options as well. Glenmark always as an organization has been keeping patient at the center and I was just having chit chat that just uh, two weeks before we had another press conference where we were talking about how important it is to have the detection of hypertension or early measurement of hypertension from the age of 18 where there is a new consensus guideline. That is what we have planned just a few weeks before and now we are talking about uh, another area uh, which is into dermatology and keeping the patients at the center. And for that we have been participating along with various organizations, various associations, important associations like IIT will celebrating various uh, important days as an event during the year to create awareness, whether it is World Vital Day, whether it is World Acne Day, whether it is World Psoriasis Day, or World Atopic Eczema Day. So talking or focusing on to Vitaligo, uh, which is our today's topic of discussion and understanding, that vitiligo is a skin disease that causes the loss of skin pigments in patches at various parts of the body. <laughs> While the prevalence is all, all across the world, but I think the prevalence is more profound as far as India is concerned, where we find that 
almost closer to 10% of the people are affected with fertility. 95% of the patients develop it before the age of 40, that is means affecting the younger productive years of an individual and it does not discriminate between the genders. Males and females are equally impacted because of this. While this is not a fatal disease, but it is definitely a disease which depletes the morale of the individual. It is socially inflicting disease which causes stigma, social isolation, self-isolation, anxiety, depression and what not. If somebody starts doubting on oneself, then one can understand as a human being we can bring all kinds of diseases for ourselves. However, the most important aspect that we realize is that even beyond treatment, the importance is the awareness, the acknowledgement, and then approaching the experts for, for the right kind of treatment. That is where the major gaps is existing at this point of time. And that's the focus as an organization that we are trying to do this, that how do we enhance awareness, how do we ensure that people accept that if this is a disorder and there is a treatment, there are treatment options available with the dermatologists or the experts as far as vitiligo is concerned. Because currently the process is such that when first is the self-denial for any individual when is impacted by a vitiligo or affected by a vitiligo, but then there is a talk that happens some his friends and peer group or with the family members, people try different home remedies. Uh, approach WhatsApp and other social medias for some quick solutions. They try internet medicines and if there's nothing works, then reach to the specialist. But by the time, it is already more than six months. And then it starts getting really different and there are limitations as far as the treatment options are concerned. So that's the area that we need to work upon that how do we bring awareness to have an early acceptance and early awareness and early treatment interventions. So what, in, what is important for us as an organization or the need of the R is education with the right information. That means providing the pre accurate information to the people, create awareness to build their confidence that this is something which is treatable, controlling, and one can lead a normal life despite having this. It requires a prompt response as far as the acceptance of such patients in this society because people or society need to understand that they are part of, uh, this is not a curse, but they are, they, these are part of our society as a whole and we don't have to really see them with a different colored eyes. And then drive towards the treatment options and support them for the better quality of life, rather actually the normal quality of life. Glenmore being a purpose driven organization and leader in dermatology has committed to support mental ego patients with various initiatives focusing on <coughs> awareness and the various treatment options. So Glenmark has partnered with various medical professionals and health associations, healthcare associations to embark upon a very ambitious program which is named as Vitiligo Awareness Initiative that is Empress Your Inner Self. Because while this is an external problem but it impacts the individual more from within. And that is why we need to address your inner selves. That's the theme of the whole campaign. But the objective is to improve social acceptance, encourage to seek early treatment, and provide accurate information. So there is various ways through this, through which we are trying to communicate through various ways of uh, whether it is traditional outreach program or in clinic awareness or the digital initiative. I'll talk about a few of them, how the awareness is being created. So this integrated campaign, we have been able to touch our rates around 290 million patients, or Indians rather, I would say, not patients, but other people. <coughs> Through the traditional outreach, we have been able, like uh, radio talk shows, we have been able to uh, have these talk shows in 60 cities across India, where we, the experts have talked to the common public people about the creating awareness of Michael and the various treatment options that are available when they approach. Uh, experts in the right information. We also done in clinic awareness uh, campaign at 10,000 clinic across the, across the country where we have educational posters for all the family members and the patients who are reaching to various experts across the country. 
more importantly in the regional languages so that people can understand themselves. And also working on social medias, which is very popular nowadays and easy and uh, way of you know, having better access, whether it is Facebook, whether it is uh, Instagram, or, uh, or whether it is YouTube channels where experts' videos are available for seeking the information, getting to know about the disease person, what kind of a treatment option can be available by each of the right experts. In addition to this, we have one of the largest portal. Glenmark is managing this portal for the last few years. It's the number one largest skin and hair uh, information portal, <coughs> where there is patient educational material is there, experts' videos are available, medical, uh, medically accurate information is available. And all and a lot of traffic is reaching to this portal. Almost 11 million direct viewers are there. They are visiting this and getting benefit in terms of the accurate medical information and the expert videos to enhance their knowledge and then accordingly decide about the course of action. I'm pleased to share with all of you over here is that Glenmark and IIDP, the largest dermatologist organization in India have joined hands to create an impact on this very important message about Vitaligo to be driven all across in the most creative way by with the power of paint and brush. So on 25th of June on the World Vitaligo Day, we launched, jointly launched a painting competition for dermatologists. And you all will be surprised to see that, as I was equally astonished and surprised, that despite the busy schedules of so many dermatologists, they are so busy in their day-to-day -day practices and various processes and procedures. But their creativity that came out during this competition, we could see some awestruck, jaw-dropping kind of paintings that, uh, that have come out, out of this competition so wonderfully painted, so creatively done. The message, messages came so profound. I was just chit-chatting with, uh, with the president and he was saying it was so difficult for us to actually select which is the right one uh, for the exact purpose that this, uh, this competition was done. More details, uh, the experts will be talking about from IIDV on this. But more importantly, the objective was that we create this awareness and we select one such painting for which the more details will be talked about and how the selection has been done. And we select one such painting for a larger mass information <coughs> awareness. And for that purpose, both IIDVL and Glenmark further partnered with Indian Postal Service to commemorate this messaging of Vitiligo in the form of a stamp. And today is this event to empower the Vitiligo patients through postal stamp dedicated to their life as a significance of empathy, acceptance, and respect towards them. I am deeply thankful to IIDVL and Indian Post for joining hands on this such an important and emotional issue to come part of. I am sure this will be a huge leap in terms of enhancing the awareness for the patients of Italy who really deserve a lot of empathy and concern for the entire society. It requires a lot of awareness which this step will be able to help us to take this message to the masses and in a manner we will be able to improve the social and individual life of all the Italy patients and their family members. Thank you very much.